liquidity what is the what is the what are the options or what are the characteristics of the liquidity which reggae plus brings to the table the sec says that unless the issuing company puts a restriction on the shares are liquid immediately upon purchase so an investor puts in three thousand dollars and they when they're issued their shares they get a, typically will get access through the transfer agent to an online account if they have a buyer they're allowed to sell them this isn't the same thing as saying you have listed those shares but they are liquid it's a big advantage when handled in the right way insider selling up to 30% of the capital raised can be sales of, it, of securities by insiders, prior investors and owners of the company. So that's a sizable, a sizable amount of money. You know, obviously, if 30% of the whole raise is going to insiders and they're all founders selling out, that isn't going to strike, uh, you know, that isn't going to give a lot of confidence to investors. So, you know, I don't recommend you jump on that too 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 quickly but the ability to utilize uh, this feature is a good thing the ability to have selling insiders uh, as a part of the offering where you're not restricted to when were the, when was the most recent audit when was the most recent uh, management financials uh, if it's 30 percent 30 percent of all capital raised this week next week next month is distributed to the selling insiders Another thing that isn't, I think, widely known about Reg A Plus is that the this is a public offering. As far as the SEC is concerned, it's actually a public offering. And as a result, all of the securities in the company become liquid, which is to say the insiders who own those securities are now allowed to sell them as long as they've exceeded their Rule 144 offer, holding period. Um, so you go you go pub, you, you go <laughs> you go through the public offering using Reg A plus uh, uh, with one security, but you may have three or four other classes of security that you sold to prior investors, and th they are now liquid. Which is again not to say that you you're listing those securities, but they are allowed to sell them to anyone they're not restricted to selling them to wealthy people if they find a buyer and of course you have the opportunity once you've listed a security if you assuming you've listed it it makes it easier for anyone to have liquidity if you do choose to list and i'll get into where the listing options are i'll give you more on that in a bit but the advantage of you can provide a route to convert let's say you've listed a, a class of preferred called preferred C just to pick a random name and you have preferred A and preferred B investors from from ancient history when you list the preferred C class security you want if you are listing it on an alternative trading system or on the OTC QB or the OTC QX you are not converting everyone over automatically to common so that preferred C is listed and you could then provide a path to convert your preferred A and preferred B, B investors into preferred C owners. So they're, they're liquid literally in a more convenient manner. Post offering, and, uh, and for that matter, during the offering, but really post offering, once you are in a trading situation that you have liquidity in some way, then the insiders uh, are allowed the insiders who are principals of the company and investors that own more than 10 percent of the company they are insiders and the sec places heavy restrictions on when sales can be made and but and uh, the amount that sell of sales that can be made right so it's easier for them to raise money via being a part of this the raise than it is post raise when listed uh, because as in as is the case with companies all, all companies that in the US that are listed on a trading exchange, the SEC restricts the, the ability of insiders to sell to, you know, right after the audits published and things of like that ilk. I'm not going to get into excessive detail about that, but that's a, that's obviously a restriction. You are not required to list your company just because you do a Reg A plus. It is not a requirement that you list the company. You can conduct a direct listing to the NASDAQ or the NYSE via Reg A+. I'll get into that more later. So essentially, a company that raises money via Reg A+, has a simpler filing process than having conducted an S1, is subject to less expensive, less onerous reporting obligations than if they had filed an S1. 
and and in comparison to the shell companies and the you know the companies that have been downlisted from one of the major exchanges but that are on one of the minor exchanges they still have a pca or b quarterly audit obligation whereas your company if you do a reg a plus and you arrive and choose to list on the on the otc qb or the qx for example you only have a an annual us gap audit requirement and on the qb six monthly management financials which is the same thing that Reggae Plus requires. Uh, if you're on the QX, then quarterly management financials, but still only a US GAAP level audit once a year. 